Starting a full-time career in music can be one of the most terrifying things. Going from a lifestyle where you know exactly how much money you will get, from not knowing when your next paycheck will arrive and how much it will be, can be really stressful. So today I have three tips for you that will help you make this transition as smooth as possible and could potentially help your career survive the beginning phase. I'm Trapnest and this video is part of my 28 days later music production course that will teach you everything you need to know to become a full-time music producer. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me ask you something. Do you know how much money do you spend every month? Do you know how much money do you spend in things that are a necessity and things that you want? Are you sure that the things that you consider a necessity are actually a necessity and not something that you want? In my opinion, the very first thing that you need to do is to differentiate between needs and wants. The dictionary defines a need as something indispensable that every everyone needs. For example, housing, clothing, food, internet, transportation. These needs are the bills that you have to pay no matter what. Everything else is pretty much a want or a luxury. As much as I love having Netflix, it's clear that this is a want for me, not a need. Yes, $10 a month, it's not that big of a deal, but when you start adding up subscriptions like Spotify, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Jing membership, it can start to become quite a big bill. You also have to be careful of not overspending in needs. Clothing, it's a need, but if you need a shirt, do you really need a thousand dollar shirt from Versace or is a fifty dollar shirt from Zara good enough? And do you even need a new shirt or you just want to buy so you can add to your collection of clothes that you rarely or never use? But let's say for some reason you want the Versace, you really want it. You have to ask yourself, is spending all this money in the shirt? gonna help your career in any way shape or form if not is there something else that you could buy with that amount of money like for example a new computer if there is then you gotta ask yourself what is more important that Versace and whatever it brings to your life or investing in your career once you have defined the needs and the wants in your life try keeping a track of your expenses and your income uh, using something like excel sheets this is more or less how my excel sheets look in the left i have everything that is a debt on column C, I keep track of all the money I have or could potentially have, like for example, if I lent money to friends or whatever. Column E is for my expenses. For my expenses, I tend to just track uh, my basic expenses. I also like to track the amount of money that I get from my studio or my services. This is useful for two reasons. One, obviously helped me to track how much money I'm making. And it's also really helpful when tax time comes so you know I can avoid any issue with the IRS. If you don't know how much are your expenses then try using something like a expense tracker app. Excel has a template spreadsheet available for free. This is something that is a huge pain in the ass but trust me it will help you a lot giving you a perspective of how you manage your money especially if you have no idea. Depending on the career path that you choose, you may need different kind of tools, skills, or knowledge. The one thing that you can be 100% sure that you're gonna need is money. As a rule of thumb, don't make any expensive purchase until you are 100% sure on what your career is gonna be. Even if the purchase seems like something obvious. For example, if you wanna buy a computer, you will need a different computer if let's say you want to just create music compared to doing something like YouTube where you want to create content in video format. For the former, it would be better to build or buy a PC. 
is cheaper to build. But if you want to do something like video editing, then I would recommend you going for a MacBook because you have something like Final Cut Pro that is an excellent program for video editing. Are you going to need to be mobile? If not, then again, you are better buying a tower PC. But if you need to move around, let's say you want to perform live or you need to go and record on your client's house or other people's studio, then you're gonna need to invest on a laptop. What if you already have a computer, but this computer is a little bit old and sluggish? If you are gonna start working for clients immediately, is this unreliability on the computer gonna cost you these clients? If yes, then you need to buy a new computer. If not, then maybe using your old computer for now is perfectly fine and you can use that money to buy some modern stuff or maybe save it for when you become a full-time producer. Why do you want to become a full-time musician and why did you choose the career that you choose? When asking yourself these questions, you have to be 100% honest with yourself. If all you can come up with is because I love music, that's not good enough. You have to be really specific about every single reason for choosing your career. To me, music is a means to different ends. I didn't decide to do this only because I love music. Yes, that's a really important reason, but another really important reason is that I want to be my own boss. I cannot stand working for other people. I've tried that for almost a decade. It doesn't work for me. It's just not for me. I wanted a career where I get to build something every single day and where money is just a reward for a job well done instead of being the only purpose of the job. I wanted a career where I could use my creativity because at my core, that's who I am. I love all kinds of arts. Music happened to be what I was really good at when I decided to become a full-time producer. I wanted a career where I could work by myself. I've never felt comfortable in any workplace I've been. It just drains me being around other people. I know this may sound pedantic, but it's just the way I am. And yes, I still have to deal with clients and other artists, but these are people that I like hanging around. I like spending time with because we share this interest in common. There are many other reasons why I choose this career, but this should give you a good idea of why I decided to do this. There are a lot of reasons and ways to become a full-time music producer. I cannot tell you what path to choose. This is something that you have to figure out for yourself. All I can do is share you my personal story and how I did it, and I hope that any of this information is helpful to you. I know that suggestions like reducing your expenses to the absolute minimum can be a little bit extreme, but if you want to change your life, you need to change your lifestyle. To accomplish big goals, you need to make big sacrifices. In the end, you gotta ask yourself the most important question. How important is this goal that you have and what are you willing to do to accomplish it? Okay, so that will be all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you are someone that is already a full-time producer, let me know in the comments what other recommendations would you give to people that are just trying to start their career. And if you are enjoying this content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram for more content like this. If you want to learn how to produce music, I will leave the link of my entire course down in the description and I'll see you in the next one.